it is time for another daily YouTube live stream. I'm Zach. Welcome back. Let's play some games. How's everybody doing? It's Sunday night. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I certainly did. Oh, and look, I got a haircut. I got a haircut. It's It's been really hot the last couple of days in Phoenix. I was like, you know what? I'm just cutting my hair off. <laughs> so I chopped my hair off. You know, I don't know what you guys, how you guys feel, but I don't know. Every time I get a haircut, it just feels good. It feels like it's, you know, I'm all uh, uh, put together and groomed. I don't know. <laughs> I like that, like, fresh haircut feeling. Does anybody, does anybody feel the same way? <laughs> Let me know. But yeah, I'm super excited because we are playing City Skylines yet again. You know, I extended... City Skylines week, another week. We're going to do another week because I am obsessed with this city. I can't stop thinking about it. Um, and, you know, we've done it a whole week now, and I haven't gotten that much built. You know, and I was thinking about this. Like, how long does it normally take people to build cities in City Skylines? Because it seems to take me a very long time. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm... I'm, I'm trying guys here i'm trying to build the city and it's like it's taking forever uh josh is in chat liam's in chat hey guys how's it going liam says i'm finally here yeah liam i'm sorry man i'm sorry i you know i chose liam's first week in school to do city skylines week and it was probably the the hardest week for you to fit in your schedule um, hold on, I am sweating. It's been, like, very, very hot here. Um, yeah, I'm like, when will summer be over? <laughs> when will summer, I want the cold weather to come back. I don't know, is that just me? It's like, I'm, I'm sweating, guys, I'm sweating. Uh, all right. Let me get, get some of this sweat off of me. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and oh my goodness. Are you guys watching the weather news with the hurricane that is about to about to hit? Oh, no, the hurricane that's already hit. It's already hit. It's funny. Like, so I'm sitting here sweating. And then these people on the other side of the country who are <laughs> trying to survive a hurricane. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, this crazy, crazy world that we live in. Uh, Lofi's in chat. What's what's up, Lofi? Hold on, let me put my glasses back on. Uh, Lofi is saying, help me. I am, yes. Wait, what? <laughs> Liam says, on Wednesday, I lost my license and had to fly to Florida on Thursday to get a new one. Oof. That's, that sounds... That sounds wild, Liam. <laughs> All right, have a sip of my water. Let's go. Today is going to be an action-packed stream. I hope you guys are ready for this. And I'm in a mood to play city, some City Skylines. Uh, I have a huge long list sitting in front of me of things to do. I don't know if we're going to get all this done today. I don't know. We may need to do an extra long stream or something because this is going to take forever. I have there's one, two, three, four, five, there's like 20 things here I need to do with this city in today's stream. So we're going to just we're just going to try and tackle one thing at a time. Oh, but the thing I'm most excited about today is we're going to build a church. We're going to build a church today. Uh there's no church uh, ironically there's no churches in the base City Skylines game. I had to download a couple of special assets. And it's funny because I don't know what it's like in Europe. But in America, there's like churches everywhere. When you drive around the city, there's like a church on every corner. <laughs> I don't understand why there's so many churches, but there's a lot of churches. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's pretty realistic to put churches in your city. So we're going to do that today. It's the first time. I put a church in my city, Skyline City. Uh, Liam says, yes, people need to go to Florida to escape the hurricanes. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, 
Yeah, I saw your post, Liam, on Discord. That was pretty funny. <laughs> All right. Let's start, actually, by addressing some problems that I noticed from um, last stream. So if we come over here in the military base, you know, I haven't really been watching what was going on over here because we've been busy over in this other area back in here. But if we look at what's going on over here, you can see a nice little suburban house has popped up. What? And I forgot, these are all the houses I placed custom. Um, I forgot to mark them historical. So as they level up, and a bunch of them are about ready to level up, they're going to turn into different types of houses. So I don't think I'll have this problem in the zoned area I zoned over there because you can't level those. There's nothing else in the theme besides those houses. But these ones, there is no theme over here. So uh, there is that. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to let's gonna go through and mark all these historical so they don't change. And then I'm going to have to bulldoze. Like mark that as historical. Mark this as historical. And then bulldoze this one and replace it. With, I think it was this. Yeah, so we'll replace that with that. Make that historical. And then let's just go through and do all these. See, look at all these houses have popped up. Oof. Historical. Historical. I know this is probably not the most exciting part of the stream, but this is important. This is important. This is this is how you play the game. Uh, let's put this one over here. And let's grab this guy here. I'm using the the picker tool and you can just select something and it'll automatically choose what that item is okay so let's make sure i mark these new ones historical throughout here so that's that's done that's done that's historical all right nice okay so this is done oh let's oh up, up, another house right here <laughs> Um, Liam says, I pray for the people in Louisiana. My family is from Louisiana. Oh, man. Yeah, me too, man. I really hope that everybody's all right there. Um, I was watching the news coverage, and it just, like, it's just crazy. For someone who doesn't live where there's hurricanes, I mean, we don't get hurricanes in Arizona. <laughs> it's just, it boggles my mind. I'm, like, watching this newscaster get blown away by the storm. It's wild. Okay, so these are all historical now. This one's historical. We need to put it over here. So let's grab this. We'll use the picker tool. Boom. That's selected. We'll make this historical. Now, these are all the buildings that came in. I think I made these historical already. Yeah, these are historical. This is historical. That's historical. Okay, all right. Let's do this one, this one this one and then we'll do these okay so that's all taken care of this is not a building um so i think that's got everything covered so now I don't have to worry about these leveling up and changing to, into something else anymore because we, to, we told them they're all historical and they don't change. So our lovely military base should look like this forever. Now, just in case you're wondering, these are all uh, abandoned because they're having problems with not enough educated workers. And they don't even have workers at, with an elementary school education. That's how bad this is because we just post, we just plopped this school down here and it takes a little bit of time for people to get educated. So until time passes and these people graduate from elementary school, these guys are not going to have workers. So that's just, that's just that. Uh, Lofi in chat is, oh, Liam saying, where is Garbage Island? Oh, Liam. Liam has been reading the uh, the updates in Discord 
So Garbage Island, I have a place uh, set out for it over here. Um, you can see there's a little, um, there's a boat route. Where's the boat route? Oh, the boat route's over here. So somewhere in between the boat route and the plane route, we're going to have the island out here. And we're just, we're going to make it because like, we have all this land, all this space out here. So we're going to make it and then we're going to make a bridge come out across to here. But we're not going to do that in today's stream because we don't have enough time. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. Garbage Island can be tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be fun. Garbage Island. This is going to be this is going to be an amazing part of the map. And the reason why I'm doing this is there's a lot of stuff that you need for the game to function that I just don't have room for here. An example is um the helicopter pad for the firefighters. Okay, that's a big asset. If I put that's going to take all this room here. I don't want to put it here on the beachfront. So we're going to put it on garbage island. So I need a space out here uh that's going to be it'll be built up with like industry and stuff of a port for ships to dock and stuff. So it'll be a really cool island, but I need I need a space where I can put those big assets like those helicopter pads and stuff. Uh, so we're going to put it out there, and then I can use this space for, like, more, like, suburbs and stuff like that. Oh, let's change the names here. So this was, we called this Historic Suburbs. We're going to call this Main Street. Main Street. So this is the whole Main Street area. And actually, we're going to expand this because this is going to cover this district here and this district over here. This is all going to be the Main Street district. Liam says, Scrappy will live on the island. Yeah, that's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, so this is, we did, took care of the military base. We can cross that off the list of things to do. Um, before we get to the church, let me just let me just play around with something right here. So I, I was planning on using this area for a train station. And I just, I'm concerned that it's not gonna be big enough. We're, I'm going to spend a whole a whole stream on the train system, but I just want to plop one down just to make sure I have enough space here. Because if I don't have enough space, uh, we're going to have to figure something else out. I'm going to have to change my plans. But uh, let's just make sure I have enough room here. I have all these like custom rails and stuff. Oh, it's not going to be here. It'll be in the new content creator pack. Oh, I have all of these cool train stations that I just I just love these. Um, the city's not going to be big enough to need all these massive train stations. <laughs> so there's all these beautiful new stations I've got. We're not going to use any of them, but I do want, I do, I found this one and this one is one of the new ones that came with the content creator pack and it's beautiful. I'm thinking we could just stick it in right here. Now, is this level, is this area level? Let me check. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this is pretty level here. Uh, we might want to level this out just a touch more. Let's grab this. Um, just level it out just a little bit more. And then let's smooth this a little bit so it's it's a little less noticeable okay so this should be complete this looks like it's completely flat here let's see if we oh let's get the road out first we'll put a little road here and this looks like it cuts out from the freeway so we're gonna have this come just like this and then like put the train station over here and I want to put a couple of things in here, so I don't know. But I, we're not going to do this in today's stream. I just want to make sure this fits. Yeah, so I think if we put this... Gosh, it is pretty big. That looks really good. What? That looks great. So this is a two-platform station. Look at this asset. It's beautiful. 
Oh my goodness. I guess I haven't like plopped these down and looked at them yet, but this is gorgeous. Look, there's a giant clock here and there's, so there's two platforms here, or there's two train station, uh, two tracks where the trains can go. Oh, this is great. This is great. So they come down this little walkway and then wait on the train. I love this. And it looks so good right here too. Oh my goodness. All right, so this will, we'll make this connect up to this train. And also, I think we'll figure out a way to make this go to uh, turn into the subway that connects up to here. But we'll we'll deal with that. We'll mess with this later. I just wanted to stick it in. Does it have power? Let's give it power and water while we're here. Um, we're not going to do anything fancy. We'll just connect this up like this. Just for the time being, and then get some water up here. Boom. Yeah, and so I'm gonna get try to get some other fit some other mass transit stuff in here. Like I want to put see if I can fit a bus thing in here and a monorail thing in here. I don't know. I I think I'm asking for a lot, <laughs> but we're gonna see how much we can fit in here. The whole thing with this map is it's gonna be how much can I. How how much can I fit on the map? Because space is very constrained. Um so yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be my continuing challenge with the map, but I really like that. Okay. Liam says it fits. Lofi says apple pie. Oh, Lofi, you're making me hungry. <laughs> I do like apple pie. All right, so let's go over and talk about the church. So over here, now I, this intersection we changed in the last stream when we made this amazing high school complex. Uh, before I had this road just continue along here and I thought that was a little redundant to have these like right next to each other. So we just turned it into a T or a, it's not really a T junction. It's more of a Y junction. <laughs> I don't know, it just splits off here, but it creates this really cool intersection and I think um, I, I mean, we can do something cool here. And this is where I'm thinking I want to put the church. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, number one, it's really centrally located. This is like a great location. But number two, this is a very odd lot size. And I don't think it would be very attractive to a lot of businesses to be like in this weird triangle lot. And I think a church would love this weird triangle lot because it's it would be a, just a great centrally located spot. So we're going to see if we can use it here to put in a cool like church build. And like I said before, there's no churches in the base game. But I downloaded a couple assets and I'm going to show them to you. They are beautiful, like all of them. So let's uh, let me pull this out here just so you can see. So we got, yeah, there's, there's a lot church, but where is it? All assets. There we go. Church. Yeah. Village church cathedral. Oh, we don't need a cathedral. Uh, what's the other one? I have one more. There's a lot of cool church assets um, on the Steam Workshop. I just got three, but I'm going to use these um, around the city. So look, at I love this one. This is the one we're going to use today. This cute, cute little white church. Uh, then we have this one. This is a little bit older. It looks a little bit more run down. Uh, we're going to use this over on the other side of town a little bit. And then we have this beautiful one. Look at this. I love this. I think this is from, like, um, Finland or something. Uh, what was this called? Tromso Dom Kirk? Yeah, it must be, like, some, like, famous church or something. But it's beautiful. Yeah, so these are the churches we're going to use. All right, well, we're just going to use the white one today, but I'll use the other ones around the city. But, uh, yeah, I, I, 
it's this is something that's always confused me about the game is why does the game not have churches i mean every city there's churches everywhere so if you're building a realistic city i feel like you need a church liam says it looks like the church you made in fortnite oh my goodness liam you're right this is exactly the church from fortnite what i built this on my creative world in fortnite i didn't even think about that it looks just like this what oh that's so wild oh my goodness i didn't even realize that oh i must have like churches on the on my mind or something yeah just so you guys know i i'm not religious i don't go to church <laughs> which is ironic but yeah um i do think uh, churches like fulfill an important role in the community though i mean specifically when people die, you know, tragic events, we're all going to die. And where do you hold the funeral? You hold the funeral in a church. <laughs> you know, like there's, there's, there's events like that, that happen in a community that churches fill this like important role. And I do recognize that even though I don't personally go to church. Um, so yeah, I, you know, there, there, I mean, there's a lot of them around, towns so they're obviously important <laughs> liam says you sound like city planner plays now <laughs> i'll take that as a compliment yeah i have been watching more of his stuff lately city planner plays oh he well i see i know liam watches it too liam did you watch the last episode of city planner plays where he was doing, what did he call it? He said, he called it mulligans. He was doing mulligans in his city. And I found it so obnoxious because, you know, he's the guy who's always trying to be like realistic about things. And he did a whole episode of things that was not realistic. <laughs> and he was kind of like, everybody just don't pay attention to this. We're just going to do this because it's a game and I can get away with it. And I found that so obnoxious. This guy, City Planner Plays. <laughs> uh, Liam says, what? We're all going to die? Newsflash. Yeah, this stream got very dark very quickly. <laughs> uh, Liam says, I'm in the middle of that episode. Oh, yeah, this was a, it was, it was a, well, I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy watching it, Liam. Okay. So I think um, what we're going to do is I think we're going to draw the road down over here. Let me get this road. I'm not going to have it connected up to this road because I want to have a little bit of... Gosh, this may not let me do this. We're going to have to get rid of this power line too. This is going to get in our way. Okay, this is going to destroy the uh, tram. I think there's a tram stop right here. No, it's over here. Okay, maybe if I... I don't want to destroy that tram stop because that's a good spot to have it. But I think this is going to destroy it, honestly. What if I don't have it that far down? What if I do it, like, right here? Oh, it destroyed it. Shoot. Okay, that's okay. Well, we got to figure out these parking lots. Because um, what I'm going to do is put some parking lots for this church. And I don't know what's going to fit here. You know, maybe we should... Oh, this might be good, actually. Yeah, this fits, like, perfectly. This does fit perfectly. Okay, we're going to lower this down so that these are the same height here. Okay, so I like this. We're going to have to fix these tram stops. Um, let's delete this right here. Delete, delete. We're going to have this road continue on down like this. And will this connect up? No, it won't. Shoot. <laughs> how, do, how do I make this connect? Maybe... It'll connect there. Okay. Uh, what's Road Anarchy? Can I turn on Road Anarchy? Oh, it's this. I t click this button here. Click this button. 
<laughs> We're learning how to use anarchy. Okay. Now it's still it's wanting to like snap. Okay, this will be straight. This will go straight into here. Um. Okay. I like that. So we're going to do this, except I don't want to fully connect it up here. So maybe I can just bulldoze this section and put these stops back here. And then what I'm going to do, or actually we're going to use move it. And I'm just going to grab this node, hit the alt key so that it stays straight in a line and just extend this out all the way to the end here. So it's not connected, but it's kind of connected. I think, can people walk across here? I think they can. We'll have to see. Um, and then we can just grab this church. We'll just grab the church and move it over here. And we'll put it maybe like right here. So you can see it right alongside the road. I think that's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. You'll see it like coming right down this way. Maybe even move it closer to the road. No, I don't want to cram it in too close. Uh, let's grab those parking lots. So we can put the parking lots like side by side here. So that looks nice. And maybe put another one like right next to it. Oh, that's right. We're going to sneak down or sink down this road. Let's sink this down. So this and this are the same level. To object height. Boom. And then these. Boom. 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 And boom. We'll need to... Maybe we'll slope these. Yeah. And then, oh gosh, these notes are really close together. Maybe we'll do this again. That's going to cause problems. Um... Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Oh, let me turn off Anarchy before I forget, because that will cause problems, too. Okay. So, that's a pretty good start, I feel. We got this nice road coming out here. I just, I hope this is connected here. I think it's connected so people can walk across. Uh, that'll be good. Uh, and then let's see if we can do something with this terrain. Maybe we can flatten this out a little bit. Shrink my brush size down. I mean, look at how small of air. This is. Uh, I'm dealing with such small areas here. I'm not used to that. But you know, we got to be very, very conscious of what we're doing here. Okay, so this parking lot is nice and flat. I think people will like that. And then let's get the power reconnected. Let's get the stop put back into place. Oh gosh, that deleted the whole line. It deleted the whole line. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to draw that line over again, which is not bad because we were going to draw this line over again anyway. That's tram two. Yeah, delete tram line two. We'll redraw it again. And I was thinking about this little diversion here. We did this tram line yesterday, and so I did this long tram line, and then... Oh, let's go over to trams. I did this long tram line, Uh, uh, I, I just, I want to see the lines. Where are the lines? Oh my goodness. Okay, we did this long tram line and then we did the smaller loop in here. But we could have both loops go all the way down to the end here if I changed this from a one-way road to a two-way road. Or no, you know what? We could even keep this a one-way, couldn't we? I think we can keep this as a one way. Okay, ho hold on, let's try this again. Okay, so the, the reason why I did not do this before is because I wanted to, this doubles up the traffic on Main Street here. Cause look at, they, it's two lines coming around here. The uh, two lines coming on the exact same area. But then I was thinking about it, I was like, you know what?
Oh, wait. How is this? Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because now I'm going back this way. Oh, you know what? We have to go. Oh, oh, I know. I know. We have to go. We have to go this way. There we go. All right. Tram line two. We'll make this red just like the other one. Let's call this Main Street. And this is, what direction is this? This is clockwise. Clockwise. Main Street clockwise. Right? Main Street clockwise. And then this one is Main Street. Main Street counterclockwise. There we go. Uh, and then Main Street counterclockwise, this needs to be this. Oh, Pacific Electric. Yeah. And this is Pacific Electric, too. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, we can keep these as a one-way. And it will double up the traffic on this stop. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to get the hiccups. This is from... Anyway, let me finish my thought. This will double up the traffic on Main Street, but thats I don't think that's a problem because Main Street is the big attraction spot. That's where there would be a lot of traffic there. So I don't think that's a problem. We're going to go with it. And then now around this loop, we have a clockwise direction and a counterclockwise direction. And I think that's going to work out really nicely. Um, so back to my hiccups. <laughs> I, had the, I got the hiccups because... Um, I had uh, Chipotle today. Do any of you guys ever eat at Chipotle? I know a lot of people think uh, don't like it, but I love Chipotle. <laughs> but I had Chipotle today. I got one of those. Um, you can get like these bowls uh, where it's like it's like the burrito, but it's not in the tortilla. It's just in the bowl. Um and I got the spicy salsa. And usually Chipotle spicy salsa is not that spicy, but I don't know what they did today. I, I think they put like double the jalapenos in there or something. <laughs> but I was eating this Chipotle today. I was seriously crying. I was crying. It was so spicy. <sighs> oh, but it was good. <laughs> I have some I have some leftovers. I'm gonna eat it eat it tomorrow. Uh and I'll cry some more then. <laughs> It was very spicy. Cleared up my sinuses. Uh, Liam says, I'm trying to watch everything and read books and do assignments and fly to Florida and drive a truck. Ah, yeah, man. Liam, sounds like you are busy. That's the life of a college kid, man. <laughs> man, you got, yeah, you got a lot on your plate. But it's all good stuff, Liam. It's all good stuff. So just hang in there. You can do it. I have confidence in you. I believe that you can do it. Um, let's see here. Okay. So we we fixed we fixed the line that we busted. Let's get the power lines connected back up so this guy will have power. Uh, oh, no. I don't want it here because we're going to work on this little area here. So maybe let's run, yeah, let's run the power line right next to this parking lot. Power line number one. When it, oh, let's turn off snapping. Power line number one. We come in here right alongside these little, nice little bushes. It'll come across next to the parking lot. It'll come across here. And I'll go all the way over to this police station. I'll just come to Walmart for right now. Oh, actually, while we're over here at the police station, I do want to switch this out. We um, we selected, or uh, I say we, I selected the European police station for here. And it just looks funny. It just looks out of place. I don't think this will be the final resting spot of the police station, but I don't like this one. I think we're going to replace it with the other one. 
which is just the the vanilla police station. I like the other one, but it just doesn't fit very nicely there. Okay, so let's call out the police cars. Uh, yeah, there's this mod I put in. I have to tell it what all the vehicle types are because I want to start getting uh, custom vehicle types. Oh, the other cool thing about this church asset, I forgot to tell you guys. This functions as a crematorium. We were talking about dying earlier. Well, the cool thing, this is not only a church. This takes care of your crematorium issues. So I just have to select the hearse, and it'll start sending out the hearse and start collecting dead people. Which reminds me, I never told our other crematorium over here to collect dead people. Where is it? It's over here. I don't think anyone's died yet in my city because I never told, I never turned this on. So we turned that on. So now that should be able to send things out. Uh, but I don't think anyone's actually dead yet. So yeah, so there is that. Yeah, I am loving being able to choose um, custom vehicles. Like these trams are like custom vehicles. And so I want to do more of that in the city. Why is this purple? I thought we changed this to red. I thought we changed this to red. It is red. Why is this pur Oh, it has to come. I'm sure it has to come back to the... It probably has to come back to the little station that we have over here. The tram depot. But yeah, I'm slowly... As we do this city, I'm slowly going to add more and more of these custom vehicles. Because they just look so cool. I just, I think it makes a big difference. So we added these custom ones. We added the custom mail trucks. See these beautiful mail trucks? We added some custom ones. Oh, there's one right here. And yeah, that just makes such a difference, I think. A little custom mail truck. Look at that go. Delivering that mail. I like it. Whew. Okay, so we got the church in. Man, I need to move faster. <laughs> We've got so much to do. Uh, okay, what did we do? We did... We made buildings historical. We checked out the train station. We added the church. We did, like... That's three things. Oh, we sent out the hearse. That was something I needed to do. Oh, let's do this really quick. I want to add child care and retirement uh, care. And I think those are very important with the new changes they made to the game. And I thought, you know, it would make a lot of sense to put childcare over here. I, this is an important intersection because uh, this is the way out of town. So if we have childcare here, you could like drop off your kids in the morning on your way to work at the military base. <laughs> you could drop your kids off and then get gas. On your drive to the military base. So I think it makes a lot of sense to have childcare right here. Plus, this is very close to the elementary school here. So we got the, our beautiful elementary school. We're going to do some more detailing around this. But I love this asset there. And the childcare is right here. Let's add a little pathway here, too. Just to connect these guys up. Pathway. We'll do a nice, like, dirt pathway along here. Yeah, so these guys can walk up here and go to the elementary school and vice versa back down here. I like this child care asset. It looks really cool. Uh, you got the little playground in the back. This, this, I mean, this is a nice child care center. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, what, I don't know what child care centers normally look like, but I don't think they look this nice normally. <laughs> they must be making bank. Um, so that's the child care. And then the other thing is the retirement, which is this big building here. And I, I really try to be thoughtful when I place the retirement centers. You'll notice this in all of my cities. I place the retirement centers with a lot of care because I think you want to tr treat your elderly citizens well. Um, so you want to put them in like, you don't want to like tuck this in like, 
You don't want to, like, put this under the bridge here for the freeway. I mean, <laughs> that would be crummy. But we are going to put it close to the freeway. No, but I think, you know, if if you're dealing with people who are in a retirement community, there's a lot of people who can't drive. Maybe they're in, like, mobile scooters or something like that. So you want it to be in, a, like, a walkable location. I think that this is a great corner for it. We can put it here in the corner. It'll be easy for their family to come visit them. They can walk across the street. We have a nice restaurant here. Um, we have the Cracker Barrel is here. We, we got Walmart here. They can get their prescriptions filled. Uh, they can have, you know, meet up with somebody for lunch uh, at the Cracker Barrel. Get uh, a senior discount on their meal. So I think this is a great spot for it. So we're going to put that in here, right here on the corner. And it's right next to Mass Transit, so they can hop on the hop on the tram. Where did I... Is the stop nearby here? I forget where we put the stop. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Look at this. It's right here. So I think this is a brilliant, brilliant spot for the um, elder center, elder care center. It's so beautiful. Plus, there's gonna this will be a big residential community. So if you wanted to live nearby uh, the elder care center, you could just live in this community back here. Uh, let's see. Liam says my son likes Chipotle. Yeah, I I really like. I've always liked it. Liam says I need your time management course. It, it's just self discipline, Liam. It's just, that's all it is. <laughs> Uh, Liam says, nice dirt path, question mark. Uh, Liam says, grandma get, might get on the tram and forget how to get back. Well, you know, it's a small town. Hopefully she'll find somebody that she knows. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, now we're going to get into some, some more complicated stuff because I want to start building out this subdivision here. Now, this is a main road. I don't want to have too many roads connecting to the main road here. Uh, but I think we're going to do a main road that comes off here. Oh, gosh. We're going to bust this intersection again. Maybe. But let's fix this. What We, we have this. This is like a traffic light here. I don't want a traffic light here. Let's turn this off. Because no one's coming in and out here except for the trams. We'll keep this traffic light on. I think that makes sense. Is there a traffic light here? There is a traffic light here. I don't think we really need a traffic light there. And then what's over here? We got two traffic lights back to back. We don't need this one. Uh, this is on the freeway. This is like a little freeway here. I don't know what to do with this road. Can I turn this road into a freeway? I don't know. Let's just turn the traffic light. We'll leave it like that for now. Is this an actual road? Yeah, this is an actual road here. So we had this. In, yeah, we'll leave this as an actual road, I think. Okay. So back to this subdivision. So we have to get into the subdivision. So the options are really to come in here. I think it makes sense to come in here, though. It probably makes sense to come in here and here. I don't know. Can I get a... Can I sneak a road in here? No, I can't. Let's turn snapping back on. I mean, maybe through here. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, gosh. All those intersections right next to each other is awful. Don't tell Biffa. <laughs> don't tell Biffa whatever you, whatever you do be so upset with me okay we this is not a real intersection it's just the trams this is like a driveway is what this is okay so we'll turn that off this will be one way in and then we'll have another way in right here so this will come in probably right through here did that it busted it ah why now we're going to have to draw this all over again. Drag stop to move it. Yeah, it just like, it like busted the whole thing.
why is this still using the wrong oh no that is the right one oh the other one was using the wrong one oh okay that's all right um let's see okay so we're gonna draw a new line i can't believe i'm doing this again but that's okay okay so we're gonna drive it from here 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 then back again back again then down here stop at the high school around here stop at the elder care and then back at the church we'll change the line to red and then we'll change the vehicle add vehicle where's my little window Oh, I can't grab this. Okay, we'll change the vehicle to this. We'll call this Main Street Clockwise. And boom. Why is it doing it's it's defaulting to the wrong it's defaulting to the wrong thing. Alright, let's let that run. Okay, we got that. So now we can work on the road layout in here. Okay, now I have I have another new asset, guys. Another new asset. I don't know how you guys are handling this. I don't know how you're not losing your minds right now with all of these new assets. <laughs> this city, man. It's just, it's so, it's so uh, interesting. All right, I think what, hmm, I think what we'll do, we have all of this. I want to utilize all of this space. So let's try and like, Come around. Use use as much of this as we can. Uh, this will come in. Maybe we'll do something like that. Yeah, that looks nice. And then maybe we'll just have another road coming off like this. Um, so let's see what, I don't know how to find this new asset. Clubhouse? Aviation Club? You know, maybe it was a Rico asset. It's not one of those. It's not one of those. Country, here it is. Country club. Con oh, it's huge. It's this will take up the whole thing. What? Okay, I don't. This might not work, guys. But we're gonna we're gonna test it out. Up, oh, quick nighttime check. Look at the lights. Quick nighttime nighttime light check. Everything's looking great. sunset check <laughs> all right let's let's turn it back to daytime um liam says just unpause and it should fix itself oh you know what liam you're so smart that's what i should have done all right so let's let's plop this in and this looks very big uh this might be too big <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before, but doesn't that look cool? Oh my goodness, what a cool looking asset. That's so cool. So my idea is, oh god, this is too big. It does look cool though. <laughs> It's so big. I love it though. It's so nice. It's such a nice asset. We're gonna have to do like detailing stuff with it. There's there's nothing like really here. Um You know what? We're gonna leave it. The idea is that this is a high-end condo complex. And so um all of these are all part of the same developer. So all of these people 
And then all the people I'm going to put in over here, there should be... Um, it Like, they can all use this clubhouse here. It'll be like a, a group thing. And you know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to, over here, put another, like, group facility. Maybe we could squeeze it right on the corner here. We have this empty space here where houses aren't growing in. So maybe we can put in a pool. It's going to destroy some of these houses. But I think that would be really cool to have a pool facility. Oh, my gosh. It's huge. It's huge. I don't know if this is going to work. We might... Oh, my goodness. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. Um, it just needs to move over a little bit, I think, to get rid of this um, wonkiness. So let's just grab it. We'll just move it over. We're destroying some houses in the process, but... Um, it'll, look, it'll look better this way. Yeah, so let's just... We're gonna have to push back the hillside a little bit. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of this zoning here. We'll get rid of these for now, and just push this back. Um. Can I just soften this? Maybe. No, that doesn't do anything. We're going to have to push this back. And then soften it. Okay, so we got a little bit of rocks there, but that that looks pretty good. So, I so I mean the idea is this is co these are condos here and we have these like group facilities. So there's one here this glamorous pool that is a very glamorous pool and then we have another one over here which is this glamorous clubhouse and this elder care center here um yeah i like that and then we'll have to maybe we could fit something else in the corner here what could we put in the corner oh you know what's small is the the sauna building maybe we can give these guys a nice little sauna here in the corner Oh, it won't fit. It won't fit. It'll fit here. Yeah, let's throw it in here. Let's destroy this zoning. Let's get a nice little spa on the corner. Yeah, so they have a little bit of... Um, a little bit of amenities, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, this place is turning out quite nice. Um, I was going to try and fit something in here, in the middle here. I, we're going to do some detailing, but there really is no space. This is like two squares of space. It looks it looks deceiving. Yeah, look at there's There's like, I could maybe get, if I wrote, drew this road down here, I'd get maybe like two squares of something. Uh, it's not, it's, it's not, it wouldn't work. It looks like there's a lot of space in there, but there really isn't. So we're going to put like some picnic tables and stuff in here, but there isn't much room for anything more than that. Kelly, the killer whales in chat. Hey, man, how's it going? Saying, hi, Zach, I can only stop by for a little bit. Sorry, I haven't been able to make the streams for a long time. I'm going through a lot right now, but I'm happy to be here. Well, good to see you, Kelly. Thanks for stopping by. Liam says, the pool is cool. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Liam, you should be a rapper. Has anyone ever told you that? Um, so how are we going to... Is this going to... This is so big. Is this going to change anything? I think it will. So let's wrap the road around this a little bit better. Now that I know this is what I'm doing. So let's grab this. We'll kind of wrap it around here. And wrap it back around here. I 
know what I might do is like spin it around this way to get a little bit more, a few more houses up in here and then connect this straight into here. Ooh, look at that. Now that's some fancy planning right there. Okay, let's get some water pipes in here for this nice, this nice new community. We'll turn snapping off. Uh, we'll get the water pipes over there and they'll just come along this road here. We'll do a nice little water loop. Boom. Look at that. It's my brand new condo development. Liam says, no wrapping for me. All right. All right. No, no wrap, wrapping for Liam. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, before I just zoned the district, but I think, let me, let me, let me make sure we got the district here. Okay. So we're going to push this district back. This is actually still going to be Main Street. High density is going to be on the other side of the freeway is what's going to happen. This has been very kind of suburban so far, what we've been doing. It's more like small town Americana type stuff. You know, it's funny. I haven't seen too many people build city skylines cities like this with like a cute little main street. And yeah, I don't know. People do some more things like Vancouver. <laughs> That's what like a lot of people are, are doing right now. So this is, I don't know, this is, I do things differently here on Zach Daily Games. <laughs> Kelly says, what a fancy community. Yeah, this is a really nice community. Drinking some water. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, we were going to plop down some houses. Okay, so I'm going to actually try and plop these down manually. Um, because before I just let them grow in themselves. Oh, actually I have to zone it. I forgot. We, we have to zone this. So let's grab this zone. Oh, that's main street. So we'll have another, we'll just call this. I'll just make this another condo development. Let's have this come all the way down to the street. This will be condo, condo development two. <laughs> <laughs> this is condo development one. This is condo development two. Um, and then on this, we have to set the theme, enable theme manager to Sears and Sears is all of those houses that we used for the other area. Okay. So I could just let this all grow in naturally. In fact, let's go ahead and grab these and fill this in. But I want to see how many of the, if it makes a difference, if I plop them down by myself. I don't know if it will or not. We'll see. Okay, so these are all the houses here. We're just gonna go through. Ooh, some of these are small. This is one by three. Oh, these are all small. That's okay. Okay, these are bigger. This is, what is this? Three by four. We need a three by four. Okay, that's three by four. This is two by four. What is this? Two by four. But it won't fit. I'm 
running out of room here. Uh, three by four. Okay, here's three by fours. Two by fours. More two by fours. This is two by four. Get some in here. Two by four. Two by four. Who won't fit? And then another two by four. Is anything here? I don't think so. And we can put two more here. Oh, shoot. Wrong way. Okay. So I think that should grow up like that. I think that was... We'll, we'll see if there's any, uh, any... If I missed any spots. Oh, some of them didn't like those areas. Yeah, I don't want to put anything on the main road here. Maybe we'll put like a nice little fountain or something here at, at the entrance. Are people moving in? Wow, that was fast. Uh, Liam says Vancouver, Washington, or Vancouver, British Columbia? That is a good question. Okay, we do have a bunch of fountains. Ooh, I like these. this one. Uh, this one doesn't really move, but it looks nice. I feel like this they would have something like this at the entrance to one of these places. Must be placed inside a park area or roadside. This is roadside. Well, how come this one worked and this one didn't? We're gonna we're gonna move these a little bit. Yeah, this these are one of those communities where you have grand fountains on either side of the entrance, <laughs> and then you drive in here and you have this amazing clubhouse right here. Um, yeah, we should do like a a driveway through here. We could take like surface painter and just paint some pavement in here. I feel like this would be paved. Oop, not here. Okay, so where are we missing houses? So it looks like we had a bunch grow up here. Um, I think we'll take... Wherever there is missing houses, we'll take the smallest ones. And I think we can fit them in still. Sears. These were the teeny ones. One by three. Let's see, where can we fit one by threes? One here. Does this really not... not gonna let me do it yeah it won't it won't you know what we could do can i toggle this on and off on this road that'll give me more more room yeah okay i just got all that extra room look at that <laughs> brilliant oh can i do that here too Ooh, i got more room Oh, I love this tool. Yeah, if you guys aren't using this, you guys should should start using this. <laughs> like, you can take your... What you do is you take your main streets that you don't want to build anything on anyway and turn that off, and it gives you more zoning for your side streets. So now... Now I can boom, boom, do that and that, and I get more houses on here. Okay, so I can put some big houses in here then. And then 
Get a big house in here too. Let's delete this one. And get two by four. Oh no, it doesn't like it. Ah. Okay, I shouldn't have deleted that guy then. Okay, we'll put a small one in there. We'll put a small one in here. And then, did we put one in here? We, uh, yeah, we put one in there already. Okay, so what is... Yeah, that's not going to let me put anything in there. I should be able to get one here and one in here, though. And I think that's it. I think that's all the space I got. All right, well, let's take a look. Yeah, that's It's looking pretty nice. It looks like a little uh, community development. You know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll extend this to the other side here. I mean, we still, we have huge demand for, for residential. So maybe we'll continue this over to the other side. Um, I want to get them more packed in a little bit more closely together though. So maybe we'll do more of a gridded thing on the other side here. Okay, let's extend out condo development too. We're expanding the condo development, guys. We'll do it over to here. This will all be the new condo development. All the way over to here. <laughs> Condor Development 2 is expanding. Okay, let's turn Snap and back on for everything. Okay, so we know none of these are bigger than three by three. So what we might do, let's leave a little bit of space. Might come all the way there. Three by three. Yeah, that's perfect three by threes. If we just connect this. Um, I don't really want to connect these streets here. I don't want this to be a through street through the neighborhood. I mean, I, I don't mind connecting this one, but should I connect these? You know, I think realistically this would be connected. Oh, oh, night light check. Night light check. Let's see what our new development looks like at night. Ooh, I like it. Even the fountains are lit up. Josh is in chat saying, sup. Hey, Josh, how's it going? Liam says, I got to go catch some sleep. Catch you tomorrow, maybe. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, my gosh. We're already over the hour. What? There's so oh, there's so much stuff I haven't checked off my list yet. Uh, I wanted to do a whole bunch more condo areas. We only got like one little little one in over here. I wanted to work on this park over here. Shoot. All right, well let's keep going out. We need more residential, so maybe I can. Maybe we can get this in, and it'll be nice if it's more densely packed. Okay, so let me keep it on pause. Let me see if I can fix this. Put the police station right here. Let's delete that for a moment. What is... Oh, the power line's right there. Oh...
Okay, this is weird that this is a bridge. <laughs> okay, let's fix that. This should all be flat here. I don't know why that's doing that. These could be a little bit closer together, but you know what? We're going to leave a little gap down here, down the middle. Um, and then let's get one more in here. Okay, so three by three. Now let's make it one more here. Oh, it's not going to let me. So what is that? That's four by four. No, that's not what I want. So it'd be three by three with one space in between. That's what I want. Okay, so maybe, maybe this isn't as level as I thought. Oh, it's like sunken down. Oh, that's weird. All right, so let's let's try and keep this all level. I feel like they would have leveled all of this in making this development. So let's grab all of these nodes. All the way to here. And I think we already leveled these. But let's level all of this to this height. What does that do? Yeah, I mean, this was pretty level before it looks like. Um, let's try to do a little bit of manual leveling. All throughout here, so we can get as many houses in as we can. And I don't know what we'll do over here, but we'll do something. We'll do something. Now, I don't know if I'm going to build, like, fences or a wall or something in here. Although, I think there would be, like, there would be, like, a hedge or something along here just for privacy. I know if I lived in this house, I would want a little bit more privacy from the main road. So maybe we'll do something like that. But let's just get these houses in. And then um, we'll let this zone up on its own. Although this came out so much nicer, I feel, than this one. Like these all came out looking exactly the same. And look at all, there's all this variation over here. So you know what? Let's do it manually because I don't know why... This came out with all this variation, and these ones over there didn't. And I want to keep a little bit more of that. Since this is Condo Development 2, this is the new improved Condo Developers over here. Okay, I like this road layout. Let's go ahead and zone it. So, we'll keep this very... Uh, very intentional. Okay, so let's take off let's take off the zoning along here. Take off the zoning along here, give us a little bit a little bit extra room. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Although did that is that going to break this? I hope not. Does that break this? Because if I can do that, then I can extend this a little bit further. Let's extend this down. Get me just a little bit more zoning. It's perfect. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's building in already. No, that's not what I want. Keep it paused. Keep it paused. Maybe I should plop them down first. You know what? Let me plop them down, and then I'll zone. Okay, so let's start at the end this time. Uh, and we want... This is 2 by 4. 
Oh, some of these are bigger. Is this two by four two? All these are two by four. Oh, these are bigger houses. This is two by four as well. Three by four. Oh, this one's really big. Okay, so this needs to all be bigger. All along there, we'll unzone that. And so I think that's all zoned now. Uh, these ones, I want to keep three by four. So this was all two by fours, three by fours. Oh no, two by three, no. Three by three by, wait, what? These are, hmm. These are a lot bigger than I expected. So these are the only one by threes. These are all three by fours. Well, aren't these one by three? These are all like one by threes. So this whole thing came in like one by threes. Oh, so these are all bigger houses. That's why these came out different. I don't know why the bigger houses didn't come in here. Okay, so let's actually, now that I know that, <laughs> Let's actually make these bigger houses. Okay, so we will do... Hmm. Okay, now that I know, that makes that makes more sense. Okay, I have room to do bigger houses. You know what? Let's do smaller houses along here. We'll do... And maybe bigger houses on the inside. Or some of these have to be the smaller ones, cause just because the way I did this. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Mixing and matching. Okay, so that side's done. And then we'll do the same thing kind of on this side. These will get back into the bigger houses. And then was there one by three? One by. Do a one by three at the end there. <laughs> um, and then this one, we'll make these ones small down here again. Same thing on this side. Uh, we'll get some bigger houses in here. And then some bigger houses along here. Big ones, three by four. All right. Whew, that was a lot of work. I'm not used to like doing ploppables. Normally I just let things zone out, but like this, this is, it's like making a difference and what houses come in. Like these, I just let zone in all of themselves and I got all one by threes. 
when there's so much more variety that's possible. So let's just see if this turns out like I'm expecting. No! None of these came in. Why? They're in the zone. Oh, shoot. I forgot to zone them all. My goodness. Come on, Zach. You're smarter than that. All right, let's, let me just plop them in really quick. All right. They will need water, so let's get water pipes down here. All the way down here. All the way throughout here. Does that cover everything? No, does not. Um, and then we broke this power line, but it cuts across. Beautiful. And look at them all grow up. Thank goodness we have tons of residential demand. Look at that. So I think this will be like the nicer area over here. You got all these houses um, spread out with big yards. And then these are the cheaper condos <laughs> next to the Walmart. Uh, why does these guys not grow in? Did I? Oh, I didn't zone those guys either. Shoot. Did not zone these guys either. That's not in the zone anyway. Oh, these guys aren't in the zone either. Good thing I looked at that. Ah, the development is growing. Oh, and it's raining. The rain started. Oh, I love that. Let me turn off the, the volume. I love the sound of the rain. Two A's in chat saying, hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping by the stream. We're building condo developments. And so far, I am liking the look of this. All right, so this is the story, is that, you know, this was the first one. The guy came in, he built this, he built a pool and everything, and then he went to build condo development number two. It's a little bit more expansive, a little bit more, um, um, uh, fancy, <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, we'll have to do some detailing and stuff around here. Maybe we'll put uh, some more amenities, like, over here. You know what would be cool? There's another asset. The yoga garden. Will this... Yeah. <gasps> Let's put a yoga garden down at the end here. Oh, beautiful. I think these nice, fancy people will like that. <laughs> beautiful yoga garden. That might be a little bit big. It's like, eh, you know what? It's okay. It is okay. And then there's going to be another condo development over here. This is going to be a condo. Yeah, probably not over here, but over here is going to be another condo development. So here here and here. So this is condo development number two. This will be condo development number three. That's the plan. All right. So I think we, wow, we bumped up a lot in population. We're now at 1,500. So we are growing. Condo development number two really helped. And we have our first little bit of industry demand. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you guys this, too. I am planning on doing something I've never done before with industry demand. We haven't built any industry yet. We have some zoned up here. Actually, let me remove that zoning while I'm thinking about it. We have these little areas zoned. I'm going to take them out because I'm not going to use any zoned industry in this city, I've decided. I'm going to only use the industry's DLC for all my industry. Um, it's a, this is a radical way of doing it. I almost always use both. I use both zoned industry and the industry's DLC, but there just isn't enough room on this map to do both. 
I got to like pick one. And if I have to pick one, I'm going to pick the industry's DLC because it's so cool. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do no zoned industry at all and only use the industry DLC for all my industry jobs. Um, I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be pretty cool. Hang out here under the bridge at the Walmart parking lot. 2A says that's nice. Yeah, you like the city so far? I'm really loving it. Yeah, we built this little church today. This was the... This was the, the main point of the stream. I think, so we're doing City Skylines Week again this coming week. So City Skylines streams all week long. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to focus on this little park up here. We just have a roundabout up here. This is such a dramatic, like, little area. You have these beautiful bridges up behind where you'll have the trains come and go. Um, oh, we got a little tram stopping by here. So I want to do a cool little park up here. Maybe we'll have some shops around the edge here. But I think that will be nice. Maybe we can connect it with a little pathway coming down here. And we have some more space on our main street here. I don't know what else we're going to put up here. Uh, but, you know, we have more buildings and stuff to put in. But I'm really, ex I'm really excited with the changes that we made today. Uh, we, man, we got to do a bunch of detailing streams too. Uh, we got to detail everything that we've done so far. I want to detail the high school, detail the condo developments, um, detail these condo developments, detail the park. Uh, we need to do some more uh, storefronts along the lake here. Um, but so far, this is all looking good. Here, let me take a couple of screenshots while I'm here. Little screenshot right there. And let's do another screenshot. Uh, maybe up here? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we worked on today. <laughs> Condo development number two. And the church. <laughs> oh, and the train station. Oh, I forgot. We did this at the start of the stream. It's been such a long stream. Oh, my goodness. We've been going an hour and a half today. All right. Well, that's going to be it for the stream for today. I'm going to end it off there. We'll be back again with more City Skylines tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And everybody remember, no matter what is going on in your life, to always do something fun every single day. Until next time, this is Zach signing off.